Shwabang in sedang yaka kubor ni kerpat ipi ki nongpe ban subscribe yaka ni ka channel bat ban click yaka notification bell bapin yuak kloi ki kubor na ka jela. Meneka sengi ke Katsan Terik Urisau Arhajar Arpuar, U Menteri Rangbak Kejelau, Konrad K. Sangma, Haringkat Kejengi Don Lang, U MLI Kathan, U Balong, U Menteri Badepet Yaka Tenat, Community and Rural Development, U Bak Hamlet Doling, Kelabuk Mau Nong Rim Naka Bentar Kejengsna, Yaka Lau Sotun Multipurpose Indoor Stadium, Kebakot Hakadur Prak Lur Tengka, Yaka Bala Kershan Pisa Ling Baka Kilu India, Kumba Sao Klur Tengka, Bat Sao Klur Tengka Pat Ling Baka State Scheme. Okay, yang agak cepat ya baru banginnya yang lang buat hakapor dan peliu ni yang ini ai kejeng tap keti kebacap. Minister to kindly share with us a few words from his part. At household, more than two thousand. That's why, sir, Lao Sotun required I need special attention toward development here in Lao Sotun. We are happy to inform you, sir, that overall development in Lao Sotun, I may say, is quite okay. Of course, we are having good roads in Lao Sotun. All the pending roads which has been incomplete from the past four or five years. But now we have um, completed the road toward Umjasai and also the road toward Block 2. And sir, we should thank you that you have only sanctioned rupees 2 crore plus for maintenance of road in Asatun and also one new road in Block 5. But of course, sir, we still need lots of road project in Lausatun to connect to each and every corner of Lausatun. Let me share with you, sir, Lausatun has one big problem, and that problem is the water problem. For so many years, people in Austin face maximum problem in terms of water development. For this also, sir, I would like to thank you because you have only sanctioned three crore plus for the new project, Lausatun Water Project in Lausatun from Riyadh Springs Water Source to block one, two, and three. And for this project, sir, we will be completed more or less by first week of December. Since Lausatun is very big, population also has increased their idea. Now also, we are planning to get Lausatun into the implementation of the Jal Jivan mission. I would like to thank God Almighty for having blessed us with this beautiful day and also for having blessed us with all the wonderful developments that we have seen in this constituency and the different developments that we have seen throughout the state. I also like to take this opportunity to thank our local MLA, who is also our cabinet minister, for all the initiative that he has taken to develop his constituency and the work that he has done as a minister to serve the people of this beautiful state of ours. I thank our Rangbashnong for having always supported us in all our endeavors and worked with us to ensure that we were able to give as much 
work and development to the people of this area as possible. Friends, today, this very, very long pending demand and a project that has been very close to the Honorable MLA's heart. Today we are able to lay the foundation stone after the sanction of rupees 8.7 crores that is being sanctioned for this project where majority of the funds, 50% will be coming from Halo India, Government of India's program, and the rest, 50%, will be coming from the state government's budget. We are hopeful that the work also for this stadium will start very, very soon. In the last four, four and a half years, in spite of the challenges that we faced because of COVID, and the time that we lost in the meantime, in spite of those challenges, a large amount of work has gone in to take our state forward. And sports and youth issues have always been at the forefront for this government. Whether it is the sports policy, whether it is a youth policy, whether it is the Meghalaya Games, which had not taken place in the last 17 years. It happened twice during the time of this government. Whether it is the Northeast Olympics that is going to start in the next two to three weeks time. Whether it's the rewards and the awards that we have been given, we have been giving to our young athletes who have brought laurels for the state, who used to function and work and practice on their own, at their own expenditure. And there was no recognition for them from the government or from anybody. We have started to recognize them. We have started to award them. We have started to support them, create the infrastructure, create the ecosystem, so that they can thrive and they can practice and become better sports persons. All these have happened in the last four, four and a half years, in spite of COVID. Our goal is to see that in the coming days, in the coming years, we should be able to produce athletes who will be able to win medals for our state in the national games. We would like to see athletes who will be able to win medals for our nation in the Olympics, in the different Commonwealth Games. That is the mission and the vision and the purpose with which we are moving forward. And that is what drives us. We achieve and we target very high goals. We don't believe in thinking small. We believe if we think big, if we think large, if we target high, then we will reach far. And that is why, as a government, we have always believed in even trying the impossible. This government has proved time and again that there are difficult situations that we have faced as a state and as a people. But this government has always believed that if we try and if we give our hearts to it, if we pray for it, if we are focused on it, there is no goal that we cannot achieve. I was very happy yesterday that the Crowborough Hotel which has been unfinished for the past 36 years. And multiple governments came in, but it could not be completed because of multiple problems. But we took it upon ourselves that we will complete Crowborough Hotel and we will ensure that it starts within this term of this government. And yesterday, after great difficulty, with efforts being put in by all different officials and departments, we were finally able to inaugurate the Crowborough Hotel as the Vivanta Meghalaya Shillong Hotel, the first five-star hotel in our state.